Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. The first Friday in August is International Beer Day. Not only do many folks find beer to be a tasty and refreshing beverage, in fact, the production of beer dates back at least 7,000 years, but there are also many interesting facts to learn about the natural history of beer. Let's talk to one of our botany experts to find out more. So here we have the basic beer recipe as told in herbarium specimens. We have hops, uh, it's in the same family as marijuana, the Cannabaceae, uh, and hops is what gives beer its really characteristic bitter flavor, but also acts as a natural antibacterial agent. It preserves beer, which is actually why a lot of brewing kept water safe during olden times. Uh, and of course we have barley. Um, this is part of the malt that is traditionally used to uh, serve as the starch source for uh, yeast to convert to ethanol, which is of course what makes beer fun. Okay, so hops, barley, what's on this herbarium sheet? So this is actually a red algae uh, harvested off of Prince Edward Island. This is called Conjus crispus. Uh, its common name is Irish moss. And this is actually used to clarify beer. Um, traditionally, uh, isinglass, which is derived from fish, has been used to take sort of the impurities out of beer. This, of course, isn't suitable for vegetarians or vegans, uh, but you can actually use this algae to uh, clarify it and uh, therefore the beer is good for everyone. Okay, so plant-related links to beer, understandable. What do we have on this side of the table? A, a rock and a piece of whale? <laughs> so, uh, so with the craft brewing revolution, there have been myriad new flavorings for beer. Uh, coffee porter, citrus-flavored wheat ale. Um, but some of the more interesting beers that have come out lately include a paleo ale, which was made with uh, yeast harvested from ancient whale skulls. Um, we've got a whale vertebra here for comparison. And, and there's even beer that's made by steaming it in crushed lunar meteorites. Now, this isn't a lunar meteorite, this is a nickel iron one from our collection, but that's a pretty out of this world beer, won't you think? Absolutely. Thanks for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time. Cheers. Sante. Needs more meteorite. Definitely.